Hello! Today I've got a super quick and easy DIY necklace tutorial for you. I like literally was like done in 15 minutes. Um, but nevertheless, I thought it'd be fun to film it and to show you how I did it. So yes, this necklace, I think it's pretty cool for summer, even though I know summer is almost over. It has an infinity thing here and I'll just show it for more close in a moment, obviously. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So what you need first are to little ropes of fake leather or leather or whatever this is, I think it's just fake leather and a little plastic infinity symbol and what I started out doing is just grabbing the center of the ropes and then just tying a knot on one side um, at this point you will need to decide how long you want the tassels to be I wanted them to be not too long but long enough to be, you know, just fun and dangly so yeah, just measure that up just guesstimated it and then just tied a knot in it um, you don't have to make this very tight knot because it's you know like it's only there for the braiding process and then afterwards it will be taken out again I just sort of made a loose knot tight enough that it will stay in place but loose enough so I can take it back out again and then just started braiding, I just did a regular braid um, you could use scotch tape to tape it to the table but for me it always goes flying out of the scotch tape so what I do instead is just weigh it down with like a potted plant or a teapot or whatever and yeah then just braid it all the way down to the bottom well almost to the bottom actually because on this side of course you also want tassels so yeah, what I did is just braided it until I thought the length was right. And then to just make completely sure that it is the right length, I actually tied a knot in it as well. So both sides are completely the same. It is optional, like if you don't care as much, then you know, you don't have to tie a knot in both things. Because you'll take them out again in a moment anyway. And yeah. Then it's time to take out one of the knots. Be careful not to accidentally unbraid it. And then just tie a knot in two of the strings. Um, yeah, at this point you also need to decide which one you want to use to tie in the infinity symbol. I chose the thinnest one, so which is the white one for me. So I tied the camel one and the dark brown one together. And this knot can be tied because this is supposed to stay in there. And then it's time to grab the infinity symbol. Not sure what to call it, it's not actually a dangle, it's just literally an infinity symbol. And just tie it on the little white string. And I tie that together with the camel one. It doesn't really matter if you pick the camel one or the brown one at this point. You know, as long as it's tied together there. And yeah, at this point, um, you know, these strings are pretty much just flying off everywhere. So to just make them into tassels rather than just random flyaways, I shove them through the infinity symbol. And then of course, once you're done with this, you just kind of do the exact same thing on the other side. To make a complete necklace out of it. And then in the end, it looks like this. I think it'll look very cool for like, you know, just a casual autumn outfit with these colors. Um, or maybe for a summer outfit as well, it would look really cool, although I'm admittedly <laughs> slightly too late for summer. And yeah, then here you can see the little partly hidden infinity symbol. So this is a complete tutorial. Um, if you have any like suggestions on what other sort of DIY tutorials you would like for me to do, then I'd love to hear it. Um, for now, thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye!